All right, so I just got one of these um, topless can opener thingies from Amazon. So this is the one I got. It says smart corkscrew, easy and quick. Um, it didn't say that on the label of the um, Amazon listing. Uh, but anyways, it says here, the only bar tool in the world that unlocks the aroma of canned beverage by safely removing the top. Okay, push here to open the handle and then place the flat top on the can and push down. Grip close to the rim or the bottom, rotate and squeeze, then push the lid in. So let's see here. So first we're gonna cut this open. I haven't opened this yet, so let's see here. This one has, if it's like the listing showed, it has a um, glass bottle um, top remover as well. Okay, nothing in the box comes in this little ziploc -y bag that wasn't really ziplocked. All right, so the same instructions as on the back of the box. So I guess you push it where to undo it? Here, okay, so you push on the top to open it up. I guess it doesn't have a spring to, to open itself. So it stays closed, you push here to open it, and then you put it on the can and then you squeeze it. So this does have the um, jar, or not the, the bottle opener piece <coughs> all right all right so it just stays in there i don't know if this circle is useful for anything but yeah all right so we will open this and we will try it we got two cans there's these are like old soda cans like they've just been sitting so i don't know they're not completely carbonated but we'll let's see what happens so i'll put the can on all right we'll squeeze this down okay We'll twist it. Oops, did I not line it up right? Okay, we'll twist it. Oh, you hear it's releasing. This is a little dangerous. <laughs> I don't want to get this soda on my uh, monitor setup. But anyways, so let's see what happens. I didn't twist it too much. So it's cutting weird at a weird angle. So apparently this can, um, it kind of drops in kind of strange so let's see what happens I don't know if because I'm left-handed <laughs> if it matters um, it seemed to have cut through the can pretty easily um, so you just cut the can keep spinning it all right I don't think it cut it it made a big hole on this side but I don't know about the rest so let's see so I think it's not sitting on flat completely. There we go. Okay, so you do that. Now I actually feel it's cutting. Okay. All right, so maybe that's out already. Let's see if it worked. It did cut up the whole can. Let's see if I can use the pull tab to remove it. So, I don't know. If you cut it bad, then you get all these shards in your... You might get all these shards in your drink. So, I don't know how well that will work. But, let's try keep cutting it some more. It feels like it cut all the way. It's turning pretty easy now. Okay. Let's open this. All right, I'm gonna pop this tab so I can try and take it out. I have to be careful because I don't want to get stuff wet. And then, can I use this pop tab to pull it? No. Okay, it looks like it doesn't cut 100% all the way around. So you might have to... Okay, if you push it down and then you can pull it back up, then you can do that. So here we go. So if you don't want the tab to the pop tab to fall in your drink, you can do it that way. All right. So you can actually rip this whole. You can see this whole ring if you want. It'll come out, but this might cut you. So yeah. So I'm gonna pull the whole thing out as much as I can. And there we go. But then you'll probably get cut on this piece. So it might be because I did it wrong at first. So we'll try the other one. All right. Um, it looks like you might also end up drinking shards of aluminum, so I don't know if you can see in here, but there's 
little flecks of aluminum in there so I don't know how well that'll work all right so let's try this one we'll try again make sure it's lined up push it down squeeze this all right and then start twisting let the gas release all right then keep turning It is pretty tough to turn this, so let's keep going. There you go. I feel like it cut it. So you keep turning until it becomes easy to turn. At least that's how I feel the best way is. Okay, now that it's pretty easy to turn all the way around, then we should be good. We'll open this up. Okay. Release it. All right, we'll do the same thing. Pop this tab. Okay. Whoa. Well, it pop this one is filled higher than the other one, so the other one I guess it leaked out. But um, yeah, I'll use the tab. I'll pull it down slightly and then pull it up because some people didn't like um, that the the tab falls into their drink. So. Oh, there was some drink on top of the lid. You probably want to wipe that out before you pull it out so you don't splash it on yourself. All right. And then you can pull and peel this out. Okay, so there you go. But again, you get aluminum inside your drink. So that's, that's my complaint with this is I don't know how safe it is to drink um, aluminum shrapnel. <laughs> Or shards of aluminum but other than that it works um, it does leave some rough edges it's probably I don't know if it's just because this one's a cheap version um, the wheels on this don't seem too straight it seems kind of rigid and messy so it I think it might just be because this is a cheap poor quality one but I uh, it works so I will try a more expensive one and we'll see if that makes a difference um, but this one, because it ends up with um, shrapnel in your drink, I don't think I want to use this. Um, yeah, I don't think you want to drink these aluminum shards. Um, but that's pretty much all there is. Um, it does work. Um, it's just you'll end up with uh, aluminum chunks in your drink. Um, so hopefully this helps some of you guys decide whether it's worth it or not to buy at least this cheap model. Um, yeah. So I don't know if beer cans are different because this can, it's like flat on one edge and then it has like a slope in the inside. So when I cut it, it's actually cutting on the slope and that could make it harder to cut. So maybe I'll look for some other cans and see if they're designed the same way. But um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Hopefully this video was useful to you guys. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.